Individual stocks versus mutual funds, which should you choose? When it comes to investing in the stock market, you have two main options, individual stocks and mutual funds. Both offer potential for growth and profit, but they have different features and benefits. In this video, we will explore the differences between individual stocks and mutual funds to help you make an informed investment decision. Individual Stocks Individual stocks represent ownership in a single company. When you invest in individual stocks, you are purchasing shares of a specific company. This allows you to have direct control over your investment decisions. You can choose which stocks to buy or sell based on your own analysis, research, and personal beliefs. Pros of investing in individual stocks Greater potential for growth, individual stocks offer the potential for higher returns compared to mutual funds if you pick the right stocks. Flexibility, you have the freedom to invest in different companies across various sectors as per your investment strategy. Control, you can actively manage your portfolio by buying and selling stocks according to market conditions and your own research. Cons of investing in individual stocks. Higher risk, investing in individual stocks carries more risk than investing in mutual funds due to the potential for one company's performance to negatively impact your entire investment. Time-consuming, managing and researching individual stocks requires time and expertise. Regular monitoring of market conditions and company-specific news is necessary to make informed decisions. Mutual funds Mutual funds, on the other hand, pool money from multiple investors to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. Pros of investing in mutual funds Diversification, mutual funds offer instant diversification by investing in a portfolio of stocks or assets across different sectors and industries. Professional management, mutual funds are managed by professional fund managers who research, analyze, and make investment decisions on behalf of the investors. Ease of investment, investing in mutual funds is relatively easy and convenient. You can start with a smaller investment amount and benefit from the expertise of professional fund managers. Cons of investing in mutual funds Limited control, when you invest in mutual funds, you are relying on the decisions made by the fund managers. You have no direct control over which stocks are included in the portfolio. Fees and expenses, mutual funds may come with management fees and other expenses, which can eat into your overall returns. Examples and projections. Here are some examples of each type. Individual stocks, Amazon, AMZN. Initial investment, $10,000, January 2010. Projected returns, by January 2020, it would become $122,000. Note, it is to be noted that Amazon has been extremely volatile over the past decade. Mutual Funds, Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, VTSAX Initial Investment, $10,000, January 2010 Projected Returns, by January 2020, it would become $33,000 Note, VTSAX provides broad exposure to the entire U.S. stock market, so it is stable and diverse Which should you choose? If you are comfortable with taking on higher risk and have the time and expertise to research and manage individual stocks, they can offer the potential for higher returns. On the other hand, if you prefer a more hands-off approach, want instant diversification, and benefit from professional management, mutual funds might be the better choice. It's worth noting that many investors choose a combination of both individual stocks and mutual funds to diversify their portfolio and balance risk and reward. Always remember that investing involves risk, and it's important to do your due diligence, understand your investment objectives, and seek professional advice if needed. If you like what you are seeing, please do like, comment and subscribe to our channel Personal Finance Unchained.